Yeah, so basically you're going to see a familiar cutscene and then it will, uh, as soon as the cutscene ends, it'll blend into uh, when we have our commentary. Let's take it away. All right. Get me in here. RE2R Easter egg. Here we go. Three, Three, two, two, one, one, play. Attention all citizens. Yeah, so this is after we get the uh, after we get the opening crawl, the title screen, and all that, and met with Leon and Claire. And this is uh, Leon's campaign. It's actually in the easiest mode. God, this is so unreal. So assisted mode. You have assisted aiming. You'll know something. You can take a lot more bites. Yeah, a lot of fun stuff. What if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. It's about like what five, six, eight, maybe. People, survivors. I mean, uh, you can you can count them all in two hands. That's cool. And I got a couple fingers chewed off, so I mean. <laughs> oh no, I'm losing the ability to count. Do I include like toes? It's at least two more people. Oh, hold on, hold on. Yep, all my toes are gone. That sucks. Pretty lady. <laughs> Oh. Wait, don't run! Hold on! Wait, 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 wait! Are you Leon Kennedy? The new cop in town? Oh my god, Claire Redfield! Can I get your autograph? They were in that one game, right? What was it? Uh, code for... Uh, wait, no, Umbrella Corps! Oh, that's strange. Yeah, get out. Huh. So I've been inputting codes the entire time, and they're starting to work. What happened? We're in low pass filter territory. We got a nice film grain going on. Uh oh. What's happening? What? What? What's what? going on? Ah! Oh my god, George A. Romero made what? a trailer for Resident Evil 2, he the original what? one. He what? Yeah, George oh. A. Romero made the original uh, trailer for Resident Evil 2. It's great. I think he knows zombies. What do you think? Uh, you know, that guy might know it. Got the costumes down pat. Why didn't he make a Resident Evil movie? I don't know, Why but... Why didn't he, he would have been he, great? He at least made this. Oh man! Wow, that was a weird concussion. Anyway, uh, I hope nothing else happens. Ah! Oh, hey, did you know they remade that trailer in 2019 for the release of Resident Evil 2? They what? They remade George A. Romero's trailer... Dude! ...to show you that, hey, remember this? Well, now you can see it with an HD camera and a lot better visual effects. It's actually quite a long trailer, and this is also posted on Sony's official account. Wait, no! Help me! I, I'm no, stuck! Ah. Was, we're, we're rolling? No, help me! <laughs> Get down! I, I do like this. Time to go to work! <laughs> what, what, why? I, I didn't do that. That wasn't me. Don't, don't look at me like I did that. I didn't do it. Anyway, buy Resident Evil 2 on this date. I waited a couple more months after that. Car exploded, that's weird. Hopefully- No, not another explosion! Please, wait, no, wait, please, no, no, please, no, no! Yeah! Oh no! But anyway, here's a weird commercial I found for a version of Resident Evil 2 that's absolutely disgusting. I fucking hate this. Ew! So anyway, this is for the Game.com version of Resident Evil 2. It's not the Game.com. Game.com, excuse game me. Com. Excuse me, I had to get it right. But uh, yeah, this is a gross trailer, and I can't believe they actually posted this. Uh, also, this version of Resident Evil 2 rated T for Teen? What the hell? Because they didn't have the, the gory, gritty violence that uh, the... Might have a slight concussion. Ugh. Oh, it hurts. Oh, please, no, please, no. It's no more, no more. It's all right, it's all right. We're fine. You know, every time Leon gets a concussion, he uh, sees a different trailer for Resident Evil 2. It's weird. Well, what's this one now? This one done by David Lynch or something? <laughs> I think he's fading a little bit. I'll be there. All right, so here's assisted mode. So basically, it'll aim shit. for the best place to shoot a zombie, including the head, if you aim, you know, towards the head. Ah, shit. shit! Oh, he actually oh, no. got to me! Oh, no! Ah! Anyway, here's the GameCom version of Resident Evil 2. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? It's the Niskel! Welcome to my new Let's Play of Resident Evil 2 on the GameCom! I can't tell you how hard it is to get this thing running. I can't believe you got it to work. I've been following this in the background for a while, and... Oh, you, you, you got it to work. I don't believe it. 
not only did I get it to work, this is one of the hardest ROMs to find for the GameCom. Nobody has this. I had to go to, like, Russian text in order to find this thing, and it actually oh, freaking works. Wow. The sound is a little off because emulation of the GameCom is extremely finicky. And in fact, if you have headphones on, you can hear how bad the audio actually is because it had to be filtered through a headphone jack. So you'll hear a pop every time a sound effect goes off. Well, hey, no loading screens, no annoying uh, opening cutscenes. Uh, I mean, that's, that's the one thing I hated most about Resident Evil was the loading screens, going through the doors all the time. Oh, obviously. And all the talking. Shut the fuck up and let me shoot zombies! I think my favorite part is this game plays like absolute trash. But not only that... You actually start in front of a zombie where if you don't figure out the controls in the split second it takes to go from the title screen to gameplay, you just get grappled and then you die. It is so hard to get a zombie off of you that you might as well just die and start over, honestly. Legitimately, I have to give them credit for like the, the depth of the sprites here. It like, looks you know, good! That's when he's far away and that's, that's a really nice touch. They are really doing something on this garbage piece of hardware. <laughs> what I also find interesting is uh, the fact that you can't just hold down a button and run. You need to press the direction and the run button at the same time in order to actually run away from something. So that's great. I love that. <coughs> oh, God, oh they let it. those in. God damn. Uh, the other thing is to aim. The GameCom actually has you press a button to go into aim mode. You don't have to hold it or anything. You just have to push the button and then you're in aim mode. That's how you eventually shoot things. It took me forever to figure that out because I had to remap my entire gamepad in order to figure out the buttons. Just bear with me here as I try to figure out this archaic handheld that nobody bought. Oh, I had three. Why did well, I wanted to borrow one? Where were you at? <laughs> Actually, do you know how not bought this console was? Let me hear those numbers. Yeah, let, let me let me, let give me hear you, the numbers. Well, not exactly a number, but a factoid. This is the only version of RE2 on the GameCom. There was supposed to be a Claire one, but the console bombed so quickly that they had to cancel it. Oh, they had to cut it in two? Yep. Oh, jeez. Well, actually, a lot of the versions of Resident Evil 2 did that. Uh, the PlayStation version had one disc for Claire, one for Leon. Dreamcast did it as well. Ah. Uh, GameCom, unfortunately, had to cut Claire's entire scenario. In 64, one cart, both experiences. <clears throat> yeah, it's funny that you mentioned the N64 cart. Uh, I saw an argument saying, which is the most complete version of RE2, PS1 or N64? And people said N64. <laughs> Even though it ran a bit worse than the PlayStation and the cutscenes were left much to be desired, uh. it had more! It did? They had so much on that cartridge, you wouldn't believe. Are you fucking serious? Factor 5 did it. Factor 5. They helped. Their compression technology put the entirety of Resident Evil 2 on one N64 cartridge. That's madness. It's insane. Also, bullshit. I call BS on that. I was totally shooting him, but he managed to grapple. Oh, I shook him off. Nice. And he got me again. I think this is it. His pants are moving. Oh, no. I can't get him off. I can't. I'm pushing all the but. Ah, crap. Anyway, there's the GameCom version. Oh, good. We didn't get bitten. That's good. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, try to escape. No, no, no. no again, come, on, come on. Come on. What's going on, everyone? It's the Nisco. Welcome to the VMU version of Resident Evil 2. The Dreamcast version is no different from the PlayStation 1 version, the N64 version, so uh, the only thing I have to show you on this is the VMU. Normally you would have a minigame with the VMU, but all it shows you is your handgun, how many bullets you have left, and your current health. So, uh, yeah. Do you know how hard it is to get a VMU emulator and actually have the fucking thing work? Near impossible, yes. A VMU emulator? Yeah. A VMU emulator along with a Dreamcast emulator. Two separate programs to make this happen, which somebody just had cam footage. Anyway, we didn't get bitten again, but we're some, for some reason I... You gotta be kidding me! He was on the ground! Yeah, I hate this game. Anyway, what's going on, everyone? It's the Niskel. Welcome to the N64 version of Resident Evil 2. <laughs> or, as far as I could get with it, because it crashes on emulators. Duh. It hangs right here. It will never get past the screen. It is infamous for not working on an emulator. Time to get the N64 cart. Which means I need to get an N64 cart. I'm glad you brought up the N64 version because... Where is it? I don't have it. Where, where I is it? I don't have it. I don't have it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, the best part about the N64 version is new costumes, which is cool, and it had all the things that the PS1 version was missing. But thank God we're out of there. All right. Oh, I about lost it on that one. Woo. Yeah. 
This place is dangerous! Come to Raccoon City, they said. It'll be a fun time, they said. Nobody ever mentions the zombies. Shish. Should have taken that job at Sanford Heights. Maybe Green Hill? That would have been a good place to work, honestly. Hey, friend, do you know where to go? No, this oh, no. is not right. Oh, no. This is not oh, right. No. Oh, no! What's going on, everyone? It's the Nisco. Welcome to the Game Boy Advance version of Resident Evil 2. Uh, Thank you for showing me this, by yeah, the way. Yeah, you're welcome. I, I didn't know about it either. I Just, almost bought... Really? The, I almost bought the cart. You can buy the cart? Somebody put the ROM on a GBA cart so you can play it officially. <laughs> now, I'll give him this. For a tech demo for Resident Evil 2 on a Game Boy Advance cartridge. This is pretty phenomenal. It didn't get very far, and probably for the best, honestly. A lot of, a lot of companies had their hands in this just trying to make it work, and then it just didn't work. That's what ended up happening. You see, the thing about the, Jam the uh, Game Boy Advance, it has a lot of really interesting tech demos. It does, yes. There, there, there's, there's a lot of them. The, the GBA could do a lot more than, than you, could, you could first think, but I think they moved on to the DS too quickly, and... Look how good it looks! It didn't allow this technology to really properly shine. It looks so good! It does! It runs like poop, though. Oh, it does! Especially when there's more than one character on screen. So, something about this demo that's really funny. You can't change your equipment. You have infinite ammo, even though it shows ammo in your inventory. And I don't think you can even get hit. So that's how early we're talking for this game. They didn't even program damage. Interesting that. Can we put Resi 2 on the Game Boy Advance? I don't think so. No. Can we put Resi 1 on the DS? Hmm. Mm -hmm. We can do that. Yeah. I love Leon's one walk cycle where it looks like he's taking a shit down his leg. He's just like, hum, da -dum, da -dum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> looks like. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, they also didn't have cutscenes. We were supposed to meet Robert Kendo in there, but he's just dead off screen and we ended up back in the alleyway. Resident Evil 2, the liminal space experience. <laughs> also, we're walking on the background, it looks like. That, that should have been fixed. It's also extremely slow, as you're noticing. Leon's just kind of strolling along. So it's clear they couldn't make Resident Evil 2 on the Game Boy Advance, but... To make 3D graphics like this, could they make an original Resident Evil like this? Probably, yeah. Make the graphics a bit more uh, Game Boy Advance friendly. Have more uh, limited uh, limited encounters like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three on screen just makes it chug. We're talking single digit FPS here. Uh, this demo is very temperamental. I'll have a link for it in the description if you want to try it for yourself. But just know that there was one time where I went to do a screen transition, and the game freaked out and it didn't transition, but I kept going. Mm. So it, it, it broke. Just know that it's very unfinished, but it's still fun to look into the past. Yeah, they give you 120 bullets that are infinite. Even if you unequip the gun, Leon still has it in his hand. It's just neat. Yeah, yeah. I mean, everything looks right. It just runs like poop. Leon's shooting with a knife ow, here. Oh, ow. So there we go. Ow. Ooh. Just gotta ow. make sure. Just gotta make sure. Don't want him to get up. Okay. Ow. In fact, they still program the fact that you can shoot the zombie corpses even though they're dead. And uh, that's the end of the demo. Uh, I did not edit that in. I swear to God, that's the end of the demo. <laughs> They threw in a bit of a Street Fighter 2 <laughs> demo in there? Maybe that was the engine they, the were, wor they were working with. Street Fighter EX, even? I, I don't know. That would work better than Resi 2. Oh, oh, oh no. What now? What now? They've all turned. Oh, no. I tried to burn Leon in the fire. I'm on danger, by the way, so I'm, I'm hoping to get hurt here. But, nah, not going to happen. <sighs> there it is. The station. We're almost there, man. Almost. We've almost made it. All right. We've almost made it to the Easter egg. It's insane it's taken this long. Again, I'm still inputting codes. Stop. Wait, wait hold weird, on. Weird wait, stuff's happening. Wait, oh, wait. Yeah, isn't this weird? What now? It's fun. All I did was press A, B, X, Y, click the trigger a couple million times, and this stuff starts happening. Oh, not a million times! It's absolutely insane what you can do with technology. Oh, it's getting steadily worse. That's weird. Quick, get in the police station. 
Oh boy! What's going on, everyone? It's the Niskel. Welcome to the Atari 2600 version of Resident Evil 2. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, somebody made an Atari version of Resident Evil 2? Absolutely insane. The best part is it works. I can't believe it. I will say, the hardest part of this, I'm playing with a PS4 controller, that's my gamepad, and you wouldn't think it would be this hard to figure out Resident Evil 2 on the Atari 2600, but F1 is the inventory. According to the game's developer, if you hold down the fire button and press right on your control stick, it's supposed to go to your inventory. It never worked, but F1 worked. What are you laughing at, dude? It's Atari 2600 version of Resident Evil 2. It's a superior version, obviously. <laughs> it's even got a cut. Yeah, it's got a cutscene. <laughs> That's Ada Wong. We just met her. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, we need to use the hook on this. Let's go down into the sewers. Oh, there's our first boss. There's William Birkin over there. Shoot him. Oh, we, thankfully they gave us the Gatling gun. I don't think we're supposed to have this yet, but... Uh, Oh, keep shooting him. He, he's pretty impervious to damage. He's getting closer. Okay, there we got him. He got bigger. There, we got him. We got him. We're good. We're good. All right. Uh, so we got random zombies going through the wall. It's really strange. So, uh, yeah, this game is a little buggy. It's a one-man job, as you can probably imagine. Oh, this is a labor of love is what this is. <laughs> it is. It's totally a labor of love. This is... Oh, no. This oh, is, no. Uh, it's Birkin 2. <laughs> Run away. Oh, oh, he's gone. He's gone. Okay. But no, he's still here! Oh, no. He's putting his arm wow. through the top of the cable car! Oh, what? <laughs> so, uh... Oh, we did it, we did it, we're good, we're good. I think I think the funniest part is while I was testing this, I forgot to pick up an item and it caused the entire thing to freak out. His arms were outside of the barrier of the game and it was broken. The only way to fix it was to go back to the handgun or the knife and kill him that way. Just for some reason, it did not like the Gatling gun. Oh, this is beautiful! <laughs> also, this lab key only kinda works, so uh, n don't go down into the room to the bottom left. Uh, I got trapped in there, and the door never opened again, so just be wary of that. It can happen. I was trying to see if there was a use for this fuse case, but... Uh... This isn't good. Uh-oh. I think I'm stuck. Oh, I went no. through a sprite. Oh, no. Uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, uh, maybe. Ah, oh, there, there we go. go. There we go. Just had to fiddle with it a little bit. It's Atari, so it's fine. It's fine. Oh, no. Oh, it's, no. Bur it's Birkin 4. <laughs> oh, shoot him. <laughs> shoot Birkin 4. Gatling gun. Oh, rocket launcher. Here we go. Boom. We did it. We're at the train. All right. Get into the train. But something wicked this way comes oh, in the final car of the oh, train. No. Oh, it's Birkin 5. Oh, no. I'll shoot him. <laughs> You survived. You did it. You just beat Resident Evil 2 in about three minutes. Oh, you unlocked the rocket launcher because you're such a good gamer. You unlocked uh, the Gatling gun too because you're such a good gamer. Goodbye, Atari. Oh, that's that's beautiful. That is a thing of beauty. Wow. Holy shit, we made it to the police station. It's it's insane. Wow. We did it. <laughs> Huh. How many more codes do I have to put in? Yeah, we're back at this shit again. A couple, <laughs> couple few hexadecimals here, so... Uh, oh my gosh, we made it to the Raccoon Police Department. But wait, something's a bit strange. It looks weird wait. now. Wait. What happened to wait. Raccoon City Police Department? Well, I think it's got a bad case of villainy. So we need to invite Leon from Dead by Daylight in order to come in. Save ah. the day! Hi, I'm Leon from Dead by Daylight. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so silly. Whoa, Nemesis is in here. Well, good thing he's... Uh, that wasn't in his game, no! <laughs> I love that you could f hit him with a flashlight and he just drops what he's doing. Oh, that's great. Jill's like, of course. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? The flashlights. It's obvious. So Leon mo Leon's model looks just a little off in here. He's, he's way too pretty boy for a pretty boy character. Very, it, very dumpy. Yeah, very, very weird. Oh, there's some Nemesis gameplay, but thankfully, you know, he's allergic to light, as we found. Ah, the photons are! <laughs> so, yeah, this is when Dead by Daylight Blair. had a Resident Evil crossover. 
Do you really run that slow in gameplay? Whoa! Escape from RPD! Good job, Leon. We made it. We also made it to the police station. But something doesn't look right. Huh. Did RE2 Remake always look like this? I'm going based on your memory. We've done a couple episodes. Why does it look off to me? It's a little fuzzy. A uh... little, little fuzzy? But it still plays right. Zombies are coming in. Oh, do they make a PS1 version of the RE2 remake? Uh, you could say it's a PS1 D-make hey. of Resident Evil 1 done by a very talented creator. Link to his channel in the description. Oh, that's that, that's fun. That's he, fun. He has done this for so many of the Resident Evil games, he just D-makes them for PS1. He's a wizard. Absolutely insane. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. dead. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, the only way to prove that this is Resident Evil 2 Remake is if Mr. X was in the game, but I, I don't know, he was in the original, but... I don't know, if he moves that helicopter, we might be in trouble. Mr. X actually showed up and he was gonna kill us. That's a pretty good set piece for, you know, next gen, but for PlayStation 1, I think it's just gonna be a cutaway cutscene. Huh, you'd think. Oh, oh, we're back. Oh, wow, it's really good now. <laughs> Ooh! What, what a great, uh, what a great D-Bag! Really talented folks over there, sheesh. Alright, we finally made it to Resident Evil 2 Remake! Finally! It took forever! With so many concussions and different versions! That guy's about to give you another one, I think. Oh, please no, please no. Leon, help! Give me words of advice! I don't know, Claire. You've been seeming a little sus lately. I saw you- Hey, don't lie to me, Claire. Sussy baka. <laughs> I worked all night to make this, and you were blind as a bat, except for a couple things that you helped me with. I'm glad I could show this to that you. Was, that was beautiful, man. That was that was beautiful. I'm so proud. That's April, lovely. April Fools, everybody. <laughs> Resident <laughs> Evil 2 will continue tomorrow. See ya.